can say is, wow. In January, Sandy and I were in the Antarctic. White, as far as the eye can see, majestic, spectacular beyond words. And now, five months later, in May of the same year, we find ourselves in Canada, Victoria, British Columbia. Unexpectedly, find ourselves in the middle of the dazzling Northern Lights. God is good. Praise his holy name. On Friday, May 10th, 2024, we found ourselves in Victoria, there to visit the world famous Bouchard Gardens. If that's all we had seen that day, that would have been sufficient. But we got on back on board the ship at the end of the day, and the northern lights burst forth in full panoramic spectacular, dazzling colors. Sandy had been watching all of the reports about the Northern Lights, and we knew that there was a possibility that they would come down this far south. This has been on our bucket list is to see the Northern Lights, but we never ever expected to see them this far south and this sp spectacular never in our wildest imaginations. And we weren't even away from the lights of the city when we began to see them. And not only that, but the ship was totally lit up. We thought, oh, we'll never see them, or not very brightly. But were we surprised? They came out in full splendor. You want to hear something even more crazy? It was 11 o'clock, the ship hadn't even left port yet. And I was praying, literally, I was praying in our stateroom, Lord, please allow us to see the Northern Lights. And Sandy was out on the balcony filming the ship next door to us. And all of a sudden she shouted, I see them, the Northern Lights, they're out. I had just finished praying that prayer. Is God good? Praise Jehovah Elohim. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as the Majestic sailed out of the port of Victoria, for the next hour and a half, we watched this amazing, majestic spectacle in the heavens. Thank you for allowing us to share our experience with you. Shalom.